Hey guys, so today we're going to be packing up this uh, Deuter or Deuter 28 liter pack. And this is all the gear I'm going to be putting in it. Quickly, I'll go through it. I've got a sweatshirt, sleeping bag, a rain jacket, a bag that's got my shirts in it. So I've got um, one, two, three, four, five shirts and a long sleeve, and I could probably cut one of those out if I. I needed to. Um, this has intimates, two bras, three pairs of socks, a uh, bathing suit, and six pairs of underwear. This is my toiletry kit. This is like a kitchen slash repair kit. It has a rubber clothesline, some soap, um, some knives, Ziploc baggies, that sort of thing. We have a first aid kit. I'm going to be packing a pair of chucks. Um, a pair of sandals. I'm actually going to leave these out assuming I'd be wearing one of the three and I'll take out the lightest one just to be sure. A pair of barefoot running shoes, quick dry towel, and these are all my bottoms. So I have a pair of pants, another pair of pants that's more like sleep pants, yoga pants, um, and they're kind of nice looking, at least right now. Um, this is a sarong, which can also be um, you know, like a uh, place to lie down and sit on, which is really nice, and a few other things as well. A pair of shorts and a skirt. So, this is the pack, and what I love about this pack is, as well as being top loading, you can also open it up and load from the bottom, which is a really great feature. So we're going to start loading from the bottom, and here we go. So I'm going to start with the shoes on the bottom. and these guys on the sides. Get this in there. See if we can give it a go in the first round. I've only done this a couple times. Learned some really valuable tips from my sister, who is an amazing packer and minimalist and lives on the road, so everything I've learned, I've learned from her. Thank you so much. There. There. I want to really use up the space, so stuff like this can go down the side. You don't want it to be quite too tight because we do have a pocket here and we want to be able to zip it up relatively easily, but you do want to use all the space. That'll be easy to access, which is nice because I tend to get cold. So at least. But that's another good point to bring up. Like, no, pack your pack according to you and how you are. So that's the first thing I want to be able to access, but that's going to be different for everyone. nice and packed in there and now I'm going to start loading from the top. I'm going to put in my sleeping bag first. This is great. This is a Kelty. It's probably around a hundred dollars. Three season um, and it gets nice and small. This is a lot smaller than a lot of bags I've seen. So I get it in nice and tight. Then I'm going to put these on the top. right here which is great you know for stuff like this or maybe a map a book something that's pretty quick access there's also another pouch right here on the top for something you could grab that even easier this pouch right here is would be great for something that's still drying maybe A 
lot of awesome features on this. There's a rain cover down here. You've got these here so you could strap in a number of things. On the left hand side, you have a pouch for your water bottle or something else. So, put it on the back. Weighed this the other day, it weighs about 15 pounds, which is awesome. I definitely wouldn't want to be carrying any more. Oh, and one more pocket right here. So, that's it. There you have it, that's my pack.